Are you wondering how you can make your tables really pop with some colour? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing seven great ideas to help you do just that. I'm Ria, wedding designer and stylist, and I love helping couples like you have fun while you plan your wedding. In today's video, I am sharing seven amazing ideas on how you can add colour to your tables. Colour is huge at the moment. I know we're just talking about colour for on the tables, but colour in general is definitely something couples are seeking more of. We've steered away from like minimalist weddings and white weddings and neutral weddings for quite some time now, and couples are, you know, really embracing and being braver like bolder color palettes and more interesting color palettes so you might decide that you really like one color and you want to have lots of different shades of this color or you might decide to have a collective mix of colors to make up your color palette which makes it really interesting too so when we're talking about the tables you can either really mix up different colors from your color palette on the tables or you can add in just pots of colour by adding a few of these elements that I'm going to share with you today. So the first place that you could add colour is obviously with charger plates. So charger plates, you can get loads of them in loads of different colours now. You can get gold ones, copper ones, rose gold, silver. And there's also like a, a, the rainbow of colours, especially at Christmas time. There's lots of charger plates in like blues and greens and you know reds so there's lots of options there for charge plates to add that splash of color because most of the time you're going to have a white plate sat on top of them nice to have that color on the table for when it's first dressed so that when your guest sits down you know it looks really pretty and then obviously you're going to have a white plate put on top of it when the dinner gets served the second place that you can add in some colour is your napkins. So your napkins is one of those things that depending on what your venue type is, you might not even take this into consideration because if you're getting married in a venue that already supplies the napkins for you, then it's something that you'll probably overlook, not even realising it. And sometimes your caterer will offer this service. So therefore the napkins will be decided for you because you'll just think, oh, we'll, we'll get them to do the napkins. But you might be missing a trick here if that is the case. And obviously if you need to decide on um, napkins yourself if you are getting married in like a marquee or like your DIY in your wedding then obviously um, adding colourful napkins in is going to make more of an impact and add to the decoration. You've got to think about your plates are most probably going to be white so if you have a white napkin on top or at the side it's obviously not going to feel like it's been thought about maybe and it's not been like included in the overall design of the table. So there are so many different colours out there. I even offer a um, napkin hire service so we make the napkins ourselves and we hire them out and obviously it includes it like a cleaning charge and everything so there's always that option but adding some colour in with your napkins and styling them up a little bit just makes them feel more included it's just a great place to add some colour in so the third place you could add in some colour is with candles. So obviously nowadays we are just spoiled for choice when it comes to candles. There are so many brands out there that offer some amazing candles. You can obviously get lots of tapered candles, pillar candles, tea lights, the list goes on and on. There are so many. And obviously there's a wide range of colours you can get in those candles. But we are also seeing now what's trending is patterned candles. So artists will like paint onto candles and you can buy them patterned. I mean, they're so nice, you wouldn't want to burn them. But it's great for like adding in your different colours from your palette and it just makes the table look a little bit more interesting. You can also get ombre colours, they look amazing. So depending on what kind of vibe you're going for and you know what your colours actually are, you could really introduce colour that way and make everything look a little bit more interesting. So candles is a whole topic. There are just so many candles to choose from. I do blink love candles 
um but um yeah some of them are so nice you're just like oh, i don't want to burn it so um but yeah you can make your table come alive just with candles so another way you could add color onto your tables is by using colored glassware so this is one of my favorites because again the popularity has really shot up like in the last couple of years we see so much colored glassware now we used to shy away from it and perhaps think it was a little old-fashioned but now it is just the coloured glassware everywhere so you can get coloured obviously water goblets you can get coloured candle holders you know and all in different colours like there's not a colour you can't get glass in it's just another great place that you can add in some color there's always a lot of glass on the tables we've talked about this before you've got water glasses you have got wine glasses you've got toast glasses there's a lot of glass on the table like once you've got all the guest glass on there you might even have like a big water jug on there and sometimes it can feel like oh there's too much glass um, so if you wanted to have like a water goblet in a coloured glass and it's just going to break it up a little bit and make things like a little bit more interesting. So make sure you think about coloured glassware as well. So the fifth way you could add colour to your tables is to add some table runners. So obviously you can get table runners in loads of different fabric from chiffon to cheesecloth to linens and it's a great place to add a splash of colour down the centre of your tables and then whatever decor you put on top is really going to help pop because sometimes when you don't have a runner and it's perhaps just like a wooden trestle table it perhaps doesn't give enough impact whatever's on the table doesn't quite pop off of it so you can use coloured runners to really help complement the other colours and lift them so that they're more noticeable the great thing about some of the table runners that I've like purchased in the past a lot of the cheesecloth ones are actually dyed by by artists so people will dye them themselves with like perhaps natural ingredients and therefore this way you can actually get it matched properly to like perhaps your bridesmaid dresses or something and um, you know therefore your colour theme is gonna be like on point throughout so there's always that option as well so the great thing is that there's so much choice and it really does help like elevate um, the whole design by having a splash of colour on the table. It's a really good way of like saying this is my colour theme. So because you're adding quite a stretch of colour and there's no reason why you couldn't add a couple of colours. You know it's quite popular now to not have one runner, you might want two runners down the centre. I've done this before, two complementing colours and it really does work and adds a little bit more interest. So the sixth place you can add some colour onto your tables is with your stationery. Now obviously I love stationery and um, it's like there's so many options you have got with colour. Obviously I offer foiled stationery so I have the entire rainbow so there's loads of different colour options to choose from there but obviously the card colour itself like if you're having menus and place cards can obviously be in your colour palette as well so there's so much scope even finishing touches you've got tassels eyelets you have got foil flakes so there's so much opportunity there for adding your colours in. Obviously, if you are going for the white napkins and there's going to be white plates, then any colour is going to really pop off of the white. So if you're just dipping your toe into adding colour, then that's a great place to do it. So the last way to add in some colour is with dried flowers. Now, obviously, like everything else, dried flowers have got increasingly popular over the last few years and this is because of basically the variety available so basically dried flowers were very much a bohemian theme when it first came on the scene in weddings obviously more couples want to use them in weddings 
that have got a little bit more colour. So what happens is that they take the dried flowers in their natural state and they actually get spray painted a different colour so it fits in with the wedding theme. So basically you can add in any colours that you want to with the flowers on the table because you can get them spray painted to fit in with your theme and give it a real pop. So um, basically, you know, any colour you want and any flower you want, it can just be sprayed and it can match in with your theme, giving it a really interesting look. It certainly is a talking point because obviously the colours aren't meant to be that colour in the first place. So, but if you're going for more of a natural vibe, then you perhaps wouldn't want to go down that route. But obviously, you know, to get an impact with colour, that's a great way of doing it. It's almost like a cheats way of doing it as well. I really hope that you have enjoyed these ideas on how you can add colour into your wedding. I hope it has made you feel a little bit braver. And obviously the more elements you add colour to, the more your table is gonna have the wow factor and it's gonna look more interesting and it's gonna be a real talking point. But if you're feeling less confident with colour, then obviously just adding in a couple of elements on your table, like perhaps the glassware and some stationery is going to be enough for you. It really does depend on the overall vibe you're going to create. But those are the places you can add it. Just have fun with it and enjoy coming up with colourful tablescapes. If you have enjoyed today's video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.